So our next question, they already tell us what kind of end behavior is happening. They already say it's going to be a horizontal asymptote. So if we would sketch that end behavior, it's going to be a horizontal line. All we have to do is figure out the y value of the line. All right, on this one, for end behavior, we're always going to write y equals, because we're about to do something that's not algebra. So this question is written in a tricky order. We'll fix that first. This x cubed really should be at the front. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we got 5x cubed plus 3x minus 1, writing in decreasing order, x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2. All right, end behavior, we're going to eliminate the lower power terms. All right, let's go and just take them out. So that minus two is low power. Uh, when I say low power, x cubed is the highest power in the denominator. So this other minus one won't matter. First thing to notice, those two match. They're the same power right there. Uh, we will not get a slant asymptote. Yes, the question did say horizontal asymptote, which is one indication we will not be getting a slant asymptote. Uh, but the other indication there's no slant asymptote is the powers are the same. So when the powers are the same or the denominator wins, meaning if this is a four or more, you're going to get a horizontal asymptote. All right, because they match, you do not need to keep the second highest power on the top. Second highest power on the bottom has gone. And what we're left with, 5x cubed over x cubed. And now, x cubes cancel, y equals 5. That is our horizontal asymptote. If we were drawing end behavior, you would just label it with y equals 5. And if we're actually graphing this, you would go up to 5. So if this is our x, y axis, I like to use a separate color, a second color to do asymptotes. So this would be up at 5 right there.